Hey guys, so today we're going to do something a bit different. I'm actually going to be modelling some figures. Now I've wanted Marauders figures for a very long time and unfortunately the only way I'm going to get them is to do it myself. Originally I've been contemplating using the pop uh, vinyls as bases but this is until I found these guys. So these are Q Posket figures and uh, I think they're adorable. And Sarah allows them in the living room. So we're all good, she hates pops. Um, so what I've done is I've gone on eBay and got some second hand and then I'm going to be modding them. I've got one for James, uh, Remus, Sirius, Lily. At some point I'll probably buy uh, one to do um, a Peter figure, but he's not on my priority list. <laughs> so the first video, uh, this one, is going to be a tutorial. Uh, so I'll go through what sort of things you need, how to prep your figure and then how to paint and that kind of thing. And then the videos afterwards are just going to be speed builds, um, so you can see the finished products basically. Firstly for James, I'm obviously going to be using Harry here, um, he's a very good base model already. Um, what I will be doing is changing his glasses, sorry he's a bit of a wobble head. Uh, so I'll change his glasses because James has rectangle glasses. I'm also going to obviously change the colour of his eyes because James has hazel eyes. I'm going to do something a bit more with the hair, make it a bit more messy. I'm going to make the wand more like James's and probably paint the inside of the robes here just to give it a bit more colour and make it a bit different from Harry. Uh, oh, and cover up the tiny little scar he has. Um, so he's got quite a bit of work to do, but it should be okay. <laughs> I'm going to be learning as we go. So for Remus and Sirius, I'm actually going to be using the Weasley twins here. Um, I thought they were quite a good little find. I like the little poses um, and, you know, quite mischievous, got little guys there. I think they'll work. Um, not sure which way around I'm going to do them, but I'm going to pop one of them down. So just for the sake of the video at the moment, if this is the one that I was going to be using for Sirius, what I would need to do is I need to change the hair, um, give them like a, a nice sort of black curly hair. Um, I would need to repaint the face because he's got quite red cheeks there. So um, I'm going to repaint the face, the eyebrows and the eyes because Sirius has grey eyes. Might even give him, give him like a little um, bag of dung bombs and obviously uh, do the same as I was going to do for James and repaint sort of the inside of the robes here just to make it pop a bit more. And then if this one was going to be Remus, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the hair colour. Um, again, he's quite red cheeked, so what I'm probably going to do is repaint um, and then add some scars, change his eye colour, and then again repaint the in inside of the robe uh, to match the other guys. And then the last one I decided to do is I was going to go for Lily. Um, so I've got Hermione as a base here. Um, I thought she's pretty good. She got a little sassy pose going on. Um, and then compared to some of the other boys she doesn't actually need that much doing um repaint the hair and her eyes obviously because we want green um potentially do something about the wand because it's a little bit a little bit flimsy so maybe use some clay to build it up again the inside of the robes i'll paint to match the boys so that is the plan anyway um i'm a bit nervous because uh, I've never done anything like this before. I'm also pretty excited. Um, I've wanted to do this for a while and as there are no cons this year it seems like the perfect time to try it. So I will get on and do the tutorial for the first mod. Okay, a few things you might need when you're starting to mod things. Uh, it's nail varnish removal or acetone um, and this helps remove any of the paint that you don't want. I tend to put it in a little glass like that just so that I don't have to pour out a ton and it means it doesn't go everywhere. For removing the paint, I found cotton buds were quite handy. Um, and you're also going to need some sandpaper and this will help roughen any surfaces that you want to um, paint on directly. Um, I wouldn't recommend it on the face area, but things like hair or, or any particularly smooth surfaces, it's good for that. Um, if you are going to be doing um, a lot of modding, like adding bits and pieces, you might want some clay. Uh, this is just air dry clay um, I found on Amazon. And with that, you're obviously going to need um, some sculpting tools. I've also been using um, scissors and clippers uh, just to take bits off painting 
a variety of paint brushes so I've got thicker ones to cover um, larger areas and then thinner ones for detailing and for the paints I've just been using uh, basic acrylic paints from the craft shop and to cover it I've used Mod Podge and this is just seal it in um, and that works really well so these are just a few of the things that you might need obviously uh, depending on the complexity of what you're doing you might need a few other things um, but this is a good base start okay so to turn Harry into James I'm going to need to change his eye colour uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the inside of the robes I might try and give him a bit more messy hair and I'm going to try and make his wand a little bit more chunky So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mask off his robes and paint the inside of them and that way I can work on his face in a bit. One thing I also found helpful was to mask off um, areas that you might end up smudging the paint for. It doesn't have to be particularly neat, uh, it just has to stop you from getting paint on bits that you don't want to paint. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, roughen the inside here and then paint it with an acrylic paint. So this is a um, slightly different paint um, to what I'm using for the rest of it, but it does give a nice shiny coat. You do have to do it a couple of times. Okay, so I've done the first coat. Um, it will take a couple of coats to good, uh, reach a good vibrancy, um, but until then we can work on um, another part. So to get to his eyes, ideally I do need to take those glasses off, um, so I will be clipping them as close as I can and then I can reach the um, irises underneath to paint. So Harry now is sans glasses and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, try and remove the green from his eyes and potentially take off his little scar there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cotton bud and dip it in the nail varnish remover and just rub it over the area. It does take a while to actually uh, work. I've given James a second coat on the robes and taken the masking tape off and just tidied up some of the edges where it uh, bled through a little bit. Um, so now we are ready to get started on his eyes again. With fine detailing like the eyes you want to take a small brush and work very carefully. fill in um, the irises and then we'll fill in the pupils with uh, plain black afterwards. 
and do the very fine um, highlights as well. It does always look a little bit weird at this stage, um, but it will look better once we've um, filled in the pupils and added the highlights and just tidied up the edges as well. Sometimes it does take a little bit of patience um, and a bit of a steady hand, but if it does go wrong, you can always um, just take the paint off again using no varnish remover and start again. So for the highlights, I'm going to try something that is slightly more a light green uh, with a hint of brown in it. Um, this is the tricky part. So it does take a steady hand and it might be that you have to redo part of it at some point. So hazel is a slightly weird one to do, um, but I do quite like the look of that. Our James is starting to take shape, so we just need to um, put his glasses back on. Now, officially, he has uh, more oblong glasses, um, and I need to adjust his wand. So I have just made it a little bit chunkier. I'm not going to be able to get all the very fine um, spiderweb detailing that James does have on his wand, but I can probably paint it to look more like it. Um, but you won't be able to get all the indentations on it at this stage. So with James, like Sirius, I think he's going to be um, a bit of a messy boy. I think he's going to have his shirt untucked a little bit. So I'm going to use clay and give him some shirt tails hanging out. It's a bit fiddly. Once the clay is dry, you can then paint it. So what you can do if you've got any edges that need tidying up or you've accidentally got paint somewhere where you don't want paint is you can either use the nail varnish remover to try and remove it or you can try and paint over it and cover it up. So I've got on his sleeve here, hard to show you, um, just in there I've managed to get some paint that I don't want. So I've got some grey and I'm just going to try and very carefully cover it over. So it's all covered over now. Uh, that can be sometimes a good trick where you've got clay, um, sometimes you don't get a particularly even line. Um, so you can use, you can colour match to the, the paint underneath and just tidy up the lines from underneath, which I've had to do on his little pouch there as well. So there's just a few little bits of detailing left to do. Um, if anyone's actually seen James's wand, um, you'll know that he's actually got spider webs carved into it. Not something that's easily done with clay on this scale, but we can use it with paint instead. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it on screen for you guys and be able to see it myself though. So I'm just taking um, a darker brown and then just adding spider webbing in and 
I'm gonna have to take it up here to see it. Okay, so I haven't been able to get full spiderweb effect, but I have the gist of it. It is a very small surface to work on. So to make it more like James and less like Harry, I did try to alter the glasses. Um, I tried to use clay um, to remould them into square glasses. It didn't really work. It's a bit too fiddly. Um, I also tried using foam and again, it didn't really work. It just looked really awkward. So for this mod, James is just going to have round glasses. Um, at some point I might try and make some out of wire, but uh, not today. So really, all I need to do is finish them off, and um, so I'd need to give them a coat of Mod Podge just to make sure that all the paint that I've put on is going to stay. Um, and that's both on his face and on this bit too. And then he's good to go. There we have our finished James Potter. Um, as you can see, I've uh, painted his robes, I've changed his wand, he's now got hazel eyes, um, he's got a Marauders, Marauders map base. Um, I haven't managed to change his glasses because it became a bit fiddly, but overall I am really pleased with how he's come out. I'm looking forward to making the other Marauders to go with him, and uh, when I do I will put up some quick builds just so you guys can see um, the process of modding the other guys as well. Um, so that's it for today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!